Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today I will show you how you can upload your first NFT. So before we get started, just super quickly again, what is exactly an NFT? An NFT is a non-fungible token, NFT. Um, so it's basically a piece of digital art. And if you see at my desktop right here, wait, this is my OBS. If you see at the desktop right here, I have prepared this little PNG, which is just called Earth, yeah? So it's a PNG file. And let's assume that I want to make money with this and I want to upload it as an NFT and I want to sell it online as an NFT. How does an NFT exactly work? Well, as I said, it's basically digital art and you pay for this in cryptocurrency. In fact, you pay for it in Ethereum. So the first thing that you will have to do right now is you will need to go to your App Store or to your Play Store and you will have to download a wallet, a cryptocurrency wallet that is capable of having Ethereum stored in there. For my NFTs, I personally use the Rainbow Wallet. So the website is just rainbow.me. You can just go to your Play Store or your App Store, as I said, and you can download it. And then your wallet is going to look something like this. You'll have your Ethereum stored here. Ethereum is important. You don't need any other cryptocurrencies. If you don't know how to buy Ethereum, lucky for you, I made a video on this as well. I normally use Binance.com to buy my Ethereum. Yeah, so we are not going to use Ethereum in order to, I don't know, trade cryptocurrencies. We really only need it to, first of all, pay the, the gas fee for uploading our um, NFT. And then secondly, we will need it in order to receive the payments. Well, because I'm not selling anything on eBay, I'm selling something through an NFT marketplace and all payments will be in Ethereum. This is why I need the wallet. So one of the most prominent marketplaces for um, for NFTs is rarible.com. You can use OpenSea.io as well. Um, today I will walk you through Rarible though. So the first thing that you will need to do once you have your wallet here um, and once you have bought some Ethereum, as I said, I made a video on this as well. Now it is important that you connect your Ethereum wallet to your Rarible account. And because this is not as straightforward as it may sound, it is quite simple, but a lot of people get confused with this. So I made a whole separate video about this. So you should open this in a new tab right now. This is really not because I want to make as many videos as possible. This is really because it's a different subject and a lot of people have trouble with this. So I thought I might dedicate an entire video to this. Of course, I put the link into the description. So if you are experiencing trouble with connecting your wallet to your Rarible account, just quickly watch this video and then come back here. So now we have connected our Ethereum wallet to our Rarible account and now we are ready to sell artwork. Now the first thing that you will do on Rarible is you need to create, create. By the way, you're probably wondering how much um, exactly do I have to pay to upload an NFT? Well, it might come a bit as a shock to you, but it's actually fairly pricey. Yeah, You'll have to pay like $30 or $40 sometimes even, depending also on the Ethereum price right now. So now there was a bit of a dip, so maybe it's gonna be cheaper this time. But to upload an NFT always means that you are yeah, minted in the blockchain which in the end costs a gas fee because well in the end the blockchain needs to process your your upload and depending on the ethereum price um, it can actually be fairly pricey um, keep this in mind so it's not like i don't know youtube or so where you can just upload infinitely much you do have to pay a gas fee this is why normally i would use OpenSea because there you pay a one-time fee and then you can upload as much as possible keep in mind the one-time fee here is even a lot higher so it's going to be like 200 dollars uh, to get started to initialize your account but then you can upload as many NFTs as you want. Back to Rarible right now, you can choose between a single and a multiple artwork. Today we will look at singles because I'm not uploading a collectible. If you want to upload a series of artworks, of course, you would choose collectibles. Here I will choose my file. You can upload PNG and all these others there. Um, obviously, I showed you I want to upload the little earth. I have it on my desktop, earth.png, and I upload this. And then you'll see the preview there. This is how it will be, yeah, 
shown on Rarible later on. Now here you have um, these options put on marketplace fixed price timed auction or unlimited auction. So a timed auction is similar to an auction on eBay. You can select when it expires. You can um, enter a minimum bid. It's really quite similar to eBay. Then you have an unlimited auction, which is basically that, um, yeah, you have like an unlimited time that it doesn't expire automatically. But for now, I'm just going to use a fixed price. Let's say we are optimistic and we want to sell it for five Ethereum, which is like $15,000. Okay, now you see Ethereum went down a bit <laughs> today um, because I would only get $13,000. Um, ah, okay, this is because I only received this. Yes, so you can see the service fee is 2.5%. This is the share that Rarible takes for yeah, having you on their marketplace. Uh, you will receive then 4.875 Ethereum. I think that would be fair enough though, getting $13,000 for this earth, yeah? <laughs> and then you obviously want to put in a title. I'm just gonna put in earth description. Um, I'll just put in a description here. Obviously you want to write a proper description. Now royalties is an interesting thing. The concept of royalties basically means that if you sell earth right now and you have selected 10%, um, now the buyer who bought earth from you, if he sells it again, then you will get 10% of this price. And no matter how many time earth sells, you will always receive this royalty. So this is pretty amazing. Obviously, the lower you set it, the more interesting it is gonna be for potential buyers. Let's set it to 5%. So if I sell Earth right now and it gets sold again, then I receive 5% of what my buyer sells it for. And here you can put in the properties if you want. You can then hit create an item, make sure to review everything. And then what you have to do then is you will have to pay the gas fee, yeah? So it will say, follow the steps, approve, which basically means, okay, you, it, it made the connection to your Ethereum wallet, and right now you can hit mint, which basically means you need to send the transaction, which is like the, the fee that you have to pay um, for uploading it. So you just want to hit start, and it's gonna send a notification to your Ethereum wallet. So right now it has sent through the notification on my rainbow wallet and we can see the network fee it is loading and it would be a six. So, so right now, so right now it has sent through the notification to um, to my rainbow wallet and I can see the network fee is $44. So this is quite a lot. Um, but you can just hit confirm um, for whatever NFT you want to upload. So quickly again for you, on your rainbow wallet, it will send through the notification, then you hit confirm and then it will mint your NFT, which basically means it puts it on the blockchain. Once you have finished minting your NFT, you can go to my items and you will see Earth is now uploaded. I actually put it in as 10 Ethereum. Once Once you have, once you have finished, once you have finished uploading your it, once you once you have finished minting your NFT, you can go to my items and you will find your item Earth that we created here on Rarible. So now it's listed, and when we click on it, we can see okay, um, buy Earth now. I will make a. So so this is the listing that we just created. We can see okay. Um, it, so this is the, so this is the listing that we just created. I put it in as 10 Ethereum in the end, and I'm just going to leave it up there. Cause why not? I have the rights to use, um, this. So here you see the listing that we just created in the end. I put it up for 10 Ethereum cause why not? By the way, guys, I have the rights to use this earth. So there's no problem there. And I just wrote by earth. Now I will make the world a better place with the earnings guys. If you are actually interested in buying this earth, I will indeed try to make a better world uh, with the earnings. I have a circus project in Kabul in Afghanistan that aims to give children there a better future. Um, cause you can probably think what life in Afghanistan is like and the circus project there focuses, yeah, on giving young boys and girls equally 
a yeah a circus future i'm a circus artist myself i perform full time in the end despite being a digital nomad i perform around the globe and i just want to share um yeah my art with the world so i'm now actually a chairman of the circus school the only circus school in kabul afghanistan so if you want to support this if somebody through this video buys earth then i'll actually use this money to build up this circus school there and give the children in afghanistan um, a better future this is my mission and if any one of you out there wants to yeah make this happen and has some money some spare money to actually buy earth and make it a better place i've obviously been to kabul myself i will go back in some months and trust me you will make so many children happy um, if you buy this because then I will use the funds towards the circus school. Thank you so much for watching I hope you learned something in today's video This is how you put your nft up for sale on rarible I'll make more videos on nfts in the future. So join my little youtube channel community. I would really appreciate it Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye